Hi everyone, I'm out in my own garden and as you see, I know you've seen this beautiful bush before but over the years it's just getting bigger and I actually love it. I just think these are just so gorgeous. But the other thing is, I do love roses and all my roses disappeared and now they started to come out again. As you see, look at this beautiful one in here. Isn't it gorgeous? And I have to say, I have to take this beautiful one into the house because it smells absolutely gorgeous. And that's why I have the scissors. And I'm going to say thank you to the beautiful rose tree for giving these beautiful roses. I just thank the rose tree because it gives me such pleasure. And I'm just asking the rose tree, I hope you don't mind. And I spiritually am being told it doesn't. It's delighted to give me a gift of a rose. So I'm just going to cut it here. And I will bring it into the house. And I have a little, a little jar for it, a little vase. But I have to say, I see another beautiful rose. And my idea was to ask the rose bushes, could I have a second one? And of course, the angels that are here are saying, yes, Lorna, of course you can. So I'm going over to this beautiful yellow rose. As you see it, isn't it gorgeous? Just beautiful. So I'm asking again, this beautiful rose bush, can I have this? And I'm saying thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you to all my beautiful nature that is in the garden, to all of these beautiful roses. As we can see even, you know, the wild rose is coming out again. You know, it's only the odd one, but aren't they beautiful as well? Like they are gorgeous. I just, I just love them. There's not many, but here's another few. Look at these. Aren't these beautiful, just these two? Aren't they just so lovely? Like nature provides us with so much beauty and nature feeds us. It gives us so much pleasure. And I just want to share, and I know you must have beautiful things in your garden, so thank nature for all the beauty it gives you and all the pleasure it gives you. And there's no words, I'm lost for words. So I'm just so happy to share a little bit of my garden with you. And of course, these beautiful, beautiful roses. Hello everyone. I would love you today to take in what I call the essence of all the life around you. You know, even if you go and you, you touch a flower or, you know, you hug your grandchild or, or a mother is holding their little baby in their arms to allow yourself to know that this is the essence of life, the most precious gift, or whether you're a father or an uncle or a brother or sister, it's like we all need to take in that essence of life that is all around us to recognize it in whatever way you feel personally you can recognize it and of course i would always say you know ask for your guardian angel to help you or or you can say you know god help me to take in this essence or you can say you know let the universe help me to take in the essence of life itself all around me. Hi everyone. I know I put a little video up of myself where, where I had made jam from the blackberries. So I'm on my way over to pick a few more. So I'm going to show you that now. And of course I have my container. It was this container I filled last time. Um, and you can see, oh wow. 
the harvest is incredible. Just look at these. They are absolutely incredible. Like, I know there's some rotten ones gone rotten on them, but they are beautiful. Um, I'm going to just pick this one. And you see how green this one is inside? That's good. Very, very good. Now, sometimes they can be red as well, and that's okay. And if you go to pick one off a bush and it kind of, you know, looks like this one, a bit bad, more or less black in the center, you can leave that for the critters, for the little animals. So I, I'd drop it on the ground. Remember, you'll get plenty of dye. And don't wear good clothes like me because you'll get them destroyed. But I just think these berries are just incredible. That one broke away. Let's try this one. Yeah, look at that. Just um, gorgeous. Now, that's green inside, which is beautiful. But if it's red, it's okay. But if it crumbles in your fingers, let it drop. And the other secret about picking berries, and I know loads of you know, you do not go picking your berries if it was raining. That's out of the question because when you would pick one like this in the center, you would see a little worm because the worm comes up the bush or whatever it does when it's raining and gets into the berries. So you pick on a dry day, a dry sunny day when they are like this. And you've got to remember that you are sharing them with nature as well, which is very, very important. Um, and you can make beautiful jam. And my friend Martha was asking me, Lorna, what way do you make the jam? So I was telling her I would pick all the berries, I would fill my container, and then when I would go home, I'd put them into, what do you call it? Not a sieve, but you know, a strainer. And I would put only a few at a time and the cold water rinsing it on them and then empty them into a pot. And that take you a little while. But then when they're all washed and they're in the pot, I drain whatever water is in the pot off. And I put them on a low, a low ring and then the, the juice from the berries is enough. You don't need water in with them at all because they're juicy. And of course, I don't use much sugar. I, I let them cook, stirring them, don't let them burn. And then when I feel they're cooked enough, I put some sugar in. But I don't follow a recipe, I'm afraid. So when I done this container full, I put one cup, you know, you know those mugs about that size, and a half of a mug of sugar in, and it made quite a lot of jam. I actually felt maybe I shouldn't have put the half a mug of sugar in. I think it might have been nicer for my taste um, not to be so sweet. And one reason why we wouldn't put as much sugar in is when Joe was a diabetic. So you couldn't have things real sweet. So we kind of have this not sweet tooth, but I don't like jams or fruit real sweet. I like to taste the fruit. So if the weekend is nice and you can get into a field and a farmer doesn't mind, um, maybe ask him for permission and pick your berries and make your own jam. Hello everyone and welcome. I'm going to do a meditation about connecting back to nature because of all of the things that are happening in our world today. So wherever you are, I hope you're sitting down or you're lying down or, or wherever, but that you're nice and comfortable 
I'd love you just to say yes to yourself. You're going to do this meditation and do your best to connect a little bit more to nature, to feel its presence, to love it and to want to protect it. So when you're ready, just take a deep breath. And as you let it out slowly, just relax your whole body and take another deep breath. And as you let it out slowly, be connected to nature and take another deep breath. And as you let it out slowly, see your guardian angel helping you to connect to nature. You are walking hand in hand with your guardian angel. You are walking through nature. And you feel that strong connection. And you are doing everything your guardian angel is doing. Sometimes your guardian angel is blowing on nature. And you are doing the same. And sometimes your guardian angel is putting its hands out and touching nature. You're touching trees and flowers. You are even touching things of nature that you are nervous about. But you're feeling the love coming back from nature to you, filling you. You're making that real strong connection as you walk with your guardian angel. So take a few minutes now and just be in the presence with your guardian angel as you walk and talk to your guardian angel about making that strong connection to nature in a way you've never made it before. So stay there now with your guardian angel as you journey. As you journey with your guardian angel, you're feeling the vibrations of our planet. Your guardian angel reaches out and puts its hand upon a tree and you do so as well and you feel the tree's life and it makes you laugh and smile and then your guardian angel takes your hand and the two of you just run through nature you're going across rivers seas hills forest you're seeing animals that you've never seen before, small and big. You're seeing so much life. And with your connection you have made with your guardian angel to nature, you feel no fear. You just want to protect it. Enjoy the journey with your guardian angel. A 
as you reach out and touch your own life of nature, touch your earth. scoop up some water in your hand and you watch it trickle through your fingers and you feel that connection you have made to the water and you notice how much it sparkles and you're traveling with your guardian angel making so many connections to nature and then your guardian angel stops and you are standing with your guardian angel on top of the highest mountain, the highest peak and you feel warm and safe and you feel so loved by your guardian angel but you feel so loved by nature too. And your guardian angel is saying to you, remember, you are the guardian angel of the earth. You have to protect it. And the angels always help. But you have to do what you possibly can to protect nature. And you look up at your guardian angel and you say to your guardian angel, I do love nature and I definitely want to be the guardian angel of nature. I want to protect and save all of nature that I possibly can, but I don't like spiders. Am I not to harm them in any way? And your guardian angel says to you, no, you're not to harm them in any way. If they upset you and they're in your house or wherever you're living, you can put them outside. Your guardian angel is reminding you as your guardian angel talks to you that your home comes from nature and your home too is the home belonging to nature as well. And you're just sitting there now, looking across the world, talking to your guardian angel. So talk there for a few minutes just you and your guardian angel about connecting to nature and being the guardian angel of nature in every way you possibly can be. the love of your guardian angel as you talk with your guardian angel. All about nature and your connection. What is your guardian angel 
putty into your hand. A gift of nature to you. And your guardian angel is saying, when you are ready, take another deep breath. And allow your body just to relax. And take another deep breath. And as you let your breath out slowly, feel happy and good. And take another deep breath. And as you let your breath out slowly, feel the hands of your guardian angel around your hands and start to open your eyes slowly and come back. And know that you have made a connection to nature and that from this day on, you will do your best to protect nature in every way. You will be more thoughtful and you will be more loving and respectful towards nature because now you know nature gives you everything you have. So I'll say God bless and love you and I hope you enjoyed this meditation.